Hey, what's going on, people? My name is Terrell Andretti, a.k.a. The Narc's Nemesis. If you're watching me on YouTube, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. That helps YouTube's algorithm pick up this content and push it out to more people that need it. Somebody liked it for you, so make sure you like it for somebody. If you need a one-on-one -on -one phone session, the link is down below in the description. If you need to talk, if you need to vent, if you need advice that's custom-made and tailor-fitted to your situation, um, make sure y'all book a session. I do all cities, states, time zones, and countries. So please don't let that deter you from booking a session. Um, my single superstition is available on all streaming platforms. It also features a Hoover from my ex Narc through voicemail, and I ain't going for it. It is also featured in the movie Becky, now streaming on Amazon Prime. Y'all excuse me, I have a headache and it's killing me. Um, so y'all make sure y'all go check that out. It is available on all streaming platforms. And it's also available uh, here throughout the channel as well through the video. So y'all make sure y'all check that out. And let's bring narcissism to a, gro a global level with this song, man. Um, today I want to talk briefly about minding your own business, keeping your mouth closed, worrying about what's in front of you, worrying about what concerns you, because a lot of y'all are still miserable because you're still worried about what the narcissist is doing. You're worried about what the new supply is up to. You're worried about what kind of supply they have now. You're worried about if this person has a better experience than you did you wondering if um it was something wrong with you and were you the problem and whatever the case is and it's a natural human response but on the other hand it doesn't fucking matter and i'm gonna tell you why it doesn't matter Instead of worrying about who they're doing what with and how they've got on and moved on and everything, worry about how they treated you when they had you. It don't matter if they went on to somebody else and, and, and all this is is ego and emotions talking, but you think that they went on and, you know, found somebody better and just finally learned their lesson after doing no work, after uh, doing no change, after admitting no wrong. Y'all just think these individuals just went on to the next situation and thrived and prospered because y'all won't stay your ass off their social media. Y'all keep going on their fucking social media pages. And y'all seeing them post this shit. Mind you, they're posting it because they know your ass is watching. Not only you, but other suppliers watching. So they post this shit to fuck with y'all. And that's why I be telling y'all to stay off of there. If you don't believe me, keep taking your ass on there. Also, um... Oh, shit. Also, it, 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 it doesn't matter what they're doing because, like I said, y'all think that these individuals just heal in one day. Y'all think they heal in one hour just because they're in a new relationship. And the thing is... Just because they, even if they do go somewhere else and, you know, let's say by a long shot, and I mean a real long shot, and honestly, it's highly unlikely. Focus on what people have done to you. Focus on how people treated you. Focus on what people didn't do for you. Focus on the selfishness that people exhibited to you instead of trying to analyze what they're doing with other people because the disrespect that they exhibited with you should be enough to be like, hey, I don't give a fuck what they got going on over there. As long as they ass ain't over here no more with that bullshit, I'm cool. And too many of y'all are not like that because we constantly trying to compare us to somebody. We constantly trying to compare us to the new supply. We constantly trying to compare us to the narcissist the last supply and whatever the case is and i tell people they don't leave you to do better they they leave you to manipulate better they left and they moved on which seems like to this great person or this person who's so awesome because that person is allowing them to be a narcissist it's that person is unsuspecting of who they are this is a fresh target 
even if it's a um, even if it's a um, a recycled supply, nine times out of ten, even if the supply is recycled, they still haven't caught on to if they're a narcissist or not. See, the narcissist moves on to people that are still stupid. And what I mean by stupid is a lot of times they're unaware. They don't know that this individual is a narcissist. They don't know that this individual is bad. They don't know that this individual is abusive. Those are the people that they like. It don't matter how much of a good person you are. Excuse me if I'm rambling. Like I said, I got a headache. Um, it doesn't matter how good of a person you are. What matters is how much they can get out of you. So if you see them on the internet looking like they're having the time of their life, they are. Because they're with somebody who doesn't know they're being manipulated. And y'all keep trying to rationalize this in your head because you want your feelings to make sense. Y'all keep trying to validate this shit in your head because you want your feelings to match up with what's really going on. And y'all create these stories in y'all's head about what's going on on the other side. And there's hundreds, if not thousands of people speaking on narcissistic personality disorder. And instead of taking in the information, you're being engulfed by your feelings and your bitterness. Because a lot of the comments that I get, the smart ass comments and people don't have shit else to do with themselves, it's from bitterness. Because it's easier to point the finger at me because you don't know me. It's easy to antagonize me because you don't know me and you don't have any emotional uh, connection to me. So that's why I get a lot of hate and a lot of um, stupid shit in the comments because it's easy to be bitter towards me. But those same people was laying next to this individual, was living with this individual, and didn't have an ounce of aggression that they should have had toward this individual. So it's easier for them, it's easier for them to come look at me and, um, you know, decide, hey, I'm going to attack him because I'm, I'm unveiling a lot of information. I'm unveiling a lot of truths that a lot of people aren't ready for. I'm popping people's bubbles. I'm popping people's little fantasy shit that they got going on in their head. And a lot of people don't appreciate it. Because deep down inside, they know what I'm saying is true, but they pray to God that it's not. And they hate the fact that I'm even shedding a light on it. Because a lot of people are used to living in fantasy land. I'm not finna let y'all live in no fucking fantasy land. You want to heal from this shit or you want to bullshit? It's up to you. Stop worrying about what they're doing. They haven't moved on. They moved on to somebody that they can manipulate. They moved on to somebody that doesn't know them, that doesn't know how evil they are, that doesn't know how um, abusive they are. And y'all are taking it as happiness because your emotions are telling you, well, what else could it be? And that's the furthest thing away from the damn truth. Y'all think these individuals move on to become happy. How can you become happy when you haven't done any work? Everybody who's ever dealt with me that I know for a fact that has not done any work, they are still miserable till this day. To this day. Still miserable. And will remain miserable because they aren't addressing the issues. They aren't addressing the problems. They aren't solving anything. They just going from situation to situation and they're thinking, okay, well, if I switch the person, I don't have to address the behavior. And that's what narcissists do. They switch the person. They do not address the behavior. Stop thinking these people are moving on to be happy. And it looks that way because you won't stop looking at their fucking page. It looks that way because you're not putting that same energy into yourself, your goals, your children. Some of y'all ain't even active in y'all children's life because this has taken over your fucking mind. 
your your relationship with your children is estranged because you're not even putting this much effort into that relationship. Some of y'all, as a result of this relationship, your children won't even speak to you. Your children don't fucking like you. Because you've had your head in your ass for fucking six months, a year, two years, five years, a decade, two decades. Get your head out of your ass, man. Before it's too late. You can live in denial. You can tell yourself what you want. You can um, you, you can fucking stroke your ego. You can baby your emotions. But the truth is not going to change just because of how you feel. And I think if people learn that, reality does not change based off of how you fucking feel. Until you understand that you are going to live a hard life, I do not care what rationalization, what reason, none of that shit. If you cannot understand reality has nothing to do with your fucking feelings, you are in trouble. Not just with this, but in all aspects of your life. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe. If you need a one-on-one -on -one phone session, the link is down below in the description. If you need to talk, if you need a vent, if you need advice custom made and tailor fitted to your situation, y'all make sure y'all tap in. Uh, Superstition, my single. Make sure y'all check it out. It is on all streaming platforms. It features a voicemail of my next, my ex narc trying to hoover me and i ain't going for it it is also featured in the movie becky it's uh streaming on amazon prime if i stuttered if i seem off this video i apologize i have a headache my head is fucking killing me so uh i was just trying to get through the video y'all make sure y'all tap in um my merch store is open i am behind on merch but i got you please do not worry i got you um, another day, another way. You ain't got to listen, but I know you heard me.